Studio presets are a great way to organize and store your preferred tools and panels and easily recall them depending on the document you're working on. What we currently have is the default studio layout. So let's go to view and then go to studio. And now we can add some additional panels. This design contains typography elements. So let's bring in the character panel. Let's go to add another one and let's add isometric as well. And now let's also add symbols. So here's three new panels added to our layout. We can move these around by clicking and taking them out of the panel group. And we can of course move them around the screen as well, like so. But for this first example, let's just put these with the previously displayed panels as well. Let's bring this one up here. And let's bring this one to the top. So now I want to save this as my custom default studio layout. So I can do that by going to view, going to studio presets and clicking add preset. Now let's call this custom default. And now if we start to rearrange our layout like so, And we get to a point where actually we'd like to go back to the original layout that we had. We can simply go to view, studio presets, and click on our previously saved preset. But with this document, I actually want something a little more custom. So I'm going to grab some of my favorite and most important panels by just dragging them out of the panel groups they're already in. Let's also grab stroke. And let's grab character two. Now I'm just going to group these together to have one on the left and one on the right. And now I'm actually going to get rid of all of my other panels like so. By simply clicking in the corner, you can then move the panel groups. This then allows you to click on the close icon and very quickly just close down those groups instantly. Now I have my left and right side of the screen set up with just my key most important panels for this particular design. Now let's go back to view and studio presets and let's add this like so. What we can also do is go back to studio presets and we can also manage our presets here as well. So if for any reason you want to delete any of your other previously made studio presets, you can do so in this same panel. But now let's just go back to view, go to studio presets and select our custom default. It's also worth mentioning that on the view and studio options, we also have the ability to reset studio. This will just go back to our original Affinity Designer default app preset. So there we go. There's a few things you can do with the custom studio presets and a few ways you might use them in your design.